Today my friends, we're going to be sorting out the problem with this Infiniti Q50 Hybrid Sport and the lack of the spare tire by putting the spare tire carrier on the back. Well, not doing that, but we should. Close it matches in color though. It's very, very close. But anyway, so this car, it came without the spare tire in the back and it came on really crappy run flats which are terrible and I don't know how other cars come in the back I've done exactly zero research I only know that this thing in the trunk it has this insert but let me throw this out of the way here this insert does sit in a depression you can see the round one that's fitted for a spare tire and so what happened was I saw somebody go on eBay and they had a G37S spare tire fitted in there and there was a picture with some foam cut around it so a couple of years ago I decided to do just that and with my newfound power of woodworking I did something along these lines but a little bit more with a compartment and whatnot and if you're like me this is probably all the idea you need to start building some neat but let's go ahead and I'll start from the beginning and go over the setup and we'll see how all this fits and how all this works and we'll end up making a couple infinity badges in the process because I've had this set up for a couple of years now but we're gonna go ahead and make it all nice and spruced up right, so the specific spare I need for my car has to be 18 inches to clear over the big Akebono brakes so the G37S specifically came with them I got one off the eBay, you can buy it straight up, you can buy it with the tool inserts that's come from the other side because it sits face down, you can see somebody had it before and they rubbed it out, they didn't come out right, and they just, these things rubbed up, but I was thinking of touching them up on paint but I don't really care so for now and it's facing down, but what I did was I cut some pool noodles with a saw and so we're gonna throw that in the trunk just so that this tire won't sit on metal on metal or on this you know skinny little carpet so I just throw them down like this and let's see what happens next this is how my tire set inside as you can see there's a bit of a gap so it's about a three inch drop from the side to the sh side shelf but this is a little higher because it kind of concaves down a little bit and I guess if I don't know how the trunks of the other cars are really but if it's just a flat floor you'll probably have to jack it up a little higher and at that point you have to make the calculation if it's worth it to fit a spare and you'd have to find one and whatnot but fortunately mine is a G37S so it worked out good so once we have this now we have all this space on the side that I wanted to fill up and I didn't want to do foam although foam would work if you cut out and do like the inserts just like a photo camera or a gun I guess step I used the in inserts from the trunk and I laid them over a piece of quarter inch plywood or whatever size you can find I mean I wouldn't go more than half inch and I just traced around it cut it with a jigsaw and I, so I had the pattern like that made out of wood so you'd have the piece of plywood cut out to the shape of the mat you can put the tire over it trace the tire and then once you cut off those side bits you, you'll have one of these and so I made duplicates so you can have front and back let's move this junk out of the way and so we have that. Built before I became the pretentious woodworker that I am now with my skills and techniques and whatnot. So I just kind of mocked it up randomly. I had some scrap plywood. You can see it's not really well put together. And so all I did was just screw this three quarter inch plywood from the bottom. And that's all that really holds it in place. And the shape wise, I just roughly followed the contour. So I kind of made this in a zigzag shape. And this one is a little bit different and then I had some random ha cabinet hinges laying around so I just kind of screwed them in and made it happen I recently decided to spruce it up and paint it but for about two years it was just wood colored it wasn't anything fancy so let's go ahead and put these in I'll explain the jack situation here in a second why do I have that hole in the bottom but we can just go boom, put it in here it fits quite snugly but that's it and so it opens up let's put the other one in there you go the other one 
insert, I don't really remember how I traced it, but somehow I did. Maybe I put the tire over it and stuck the pencil through or something like that. Maybe I used the bucket because you can see my line is off. So I think I used something smaller that I found that was similar diameter to this but a little bit smaller. And then I just kind of ballparked about a finger wider line outside. And so I cut the little finger hole for it so that it's easy access. And the Infinity logo, I made a little badge so that we can spray over it. Looks pretty. And so that's my setup now. Looks very clean. And I'll throw the stuff inside of them and I'll show you what's what. This toolkit that came just with these two things didn't come with a jack. So I bought this guy that kind of somewhat matches the color. And since it didn't fit for nothing, I ended up like using a screwdriver or something and like an animal ripping out chunks of this thing. But then after that, like it fit into the back of the trunk. So the problem was I actually had access because you can buy the toolkit for the insert here and my brother had it in his G37 but now I don't have an access to it anymore so I could have bought the insert for here with all the tools but it's just a giant foam insert and I already had my jack and so forth. So what I did was I made the jack fit in here and since it was post factum it didn't fit it's too tall so I, but there's a bit of a like pretty good gap underneath here because it does slant so I end up just cutting the hole out here and cutting this out and let's see how the jack fits boom and then I just throw the tools inside in a rag this way they don't just jump around and make clinking noises or anything like that but that's how all that fits in there so this solution is probably I wouldn't do it that way now if I was building this from scratch but this was you know a couple of years ago and I had to kind of work around so that's where we're at. Once it's actually full, this is how I have mine. The little handle for the jack, the two tools inside the tow hook and the wheel bolt thingy, whatever you call it, is right there wrapped in the towel. I have my OBD scanner, which knock on wood. This car hasn't thrown any codes yet, unlike my Suburban before. And then this side, all it has just some water bottles and a little container there so I can pour uh, water for my dog if he's ever with us and I forget to otherwise bring water but I never forget because it's there now. What's this? No, oh, camera angle. And then here I actually got the idea to make it all real pretty and whatnot because somebody posted in the infinity group about the spare tire lack of it so I threw the jacket in there and somebody said it like looks like a gypsy village in the back of this. So now that there's a tire cover, looks pretty, and it's just a couple of random jackets because half the time if you go to a restaurant or a store it's freezing here in Florida even though it's a thousand degrees outside. So a jacket comes in handy and that's it. Bunk mat fits beautifully. I do have an extra one. There was like the soft one that go above this but I pulled it out because it's like an extra quarter inch thick and I'm already losing so much height in this trunk that's small enough to begin with because all the batteries are behind. And it doesn't even fold either because, again, batteries. So, but I do have a little pulley here. And so now I can have access to the back. And so it just opens up. The angles I played around with for a little bit so that I can have access to the back without obviously having to pull this cabinet out. Not the cabinet, the mat out the whole time. All right, so I hope that helps somebody out. If you don't have a spare and like me, you don't want to rely on the crappy run flats to get you out of the tough situations. But I still think that we should try to do this. I mean, that would be like perfect. I think that's right, exactly what we want. I think we need to bring that back. I can't believe how close the color matches though. It's pretty crazy. I just picked it up last night with the bumper for my Montero. But great success and I'll see you next time.